So now W has both B1 and B2. If now B1, sorry, if W now sends B1 to X, then X can send B1 to Z and B1 to Y, then Z will be happy, it will get both B1 and B2 next time. But Y will not be happy, it will get two copies of B1. It will have to wait another time round to get B2. The same dilemma if X decides to send B2 next time. And we are imagining that it has a upload capacity, which is just one bit at a time. Of course, you can say these are two different channels, why not send B2 to one and B1 to another? But we are assuming that its upload capacity is one bit at a time, right? So then, however, if it sends the XOR of B1 and B2, then he has already B1, he gets B1, XOR, B2, so he can derive B2, likewise he can derive B1. This is a very simple example of network coding. That's the example everybody uses because it's the easiest to understand and explain. So I do the same. But that's the idea. And using network coding schemes, you can achieve uh, the capacity of a network. So now how do we use that? Um, now if I want to have a system where again I am storing n fragments out of which any k is enough to reconstruct the data. But I do not want to store the full copy of the original object. Then if I have to do maintenance, right? And this work um, assumes that only one node lives at a time. And you have enough time to repair this, the effect of this leaf before more leaves happen. So this is a very limited model, but it's still a good start. Again, you can re extend these ideas. That's why I'm talking about it here in more detail. So if one node leaves, then that means you still have n minus 1 other fragments online. OK? So the naive strategy would be to contact any k of them, reconstruct the or any k of them or more of them, but you need, the naive strategy would need k, so if I say now it's n bits and k bits just for the sake of, it may be bytes or blocks, whatever. So if the naive strategy would need, need k bits to reconstruct a new fragment, right? However, what they say is if you use network coding, you can get only alpha fragment from each of these nodes all of these n minus one other nodes. What you want to do is in future, when you have done this maintenance, if a new guy wants to access this object and this new guy contacts any k minus one of these original n minus one nodes, 